All right, Coach, let's talk about the end of the season. Three straight wins to finish up strong. How does that going to translate into the offseason and next year? Well, I, I think every coach in the country, and it has never changed in all of the years I've been doing this, you have a good feeling in your stomach if you win the last ball game and you head out on the road recruiting. And we were fortunate to win the last three against three pretty decent opponents. So our kids feel good about where we are. I think our staff feels good. It feels like we've got a product we can sell. And I think it was an interesting season as you reflected back on it. We had some great wins. Unfortunately, we turned the ball over more than you would like, and that usually gets you into the right-hand column pretty quickly. But with each week, it seemed as if we could see the development of uh, young kids coming along. And of course, we needed that because we had graduated so many key kids from the year before. As you head out on the recruiting trail, what areas are you are you looking to improve upon in general? Well, I, I think there are three areas specifically we definitely have to get offensive linemen. We're thin there, and we could uh, use some kids who can come in and maybe even compete right off. Uh, inside linebacker, we want to have four over two. In other words, four kids who can play the two spots. We don't have that right now. And the third place is a cover corner. We can need a four over two there again. And then as you transition to spring ball, what kind of things do you want to see from the, the players that are currently in the program as, and their development during the spring? Well, I, I think uh, we have made a decision we're going to go with a little bit more of a quicker, more agile quarterback and get on the perimeter and establish himself as a little bit of a run-pass threat on the corner. I think Buddy uh, did a pretty good job in the last uh, in the home stretch of the season. I think he needs to hold on to the football a little bit more. We uh, led the conference, if I'm not mistaken, in fumbles, 11, and I can remember when we used to lead, lead the nation in the least number of fumbles. So I think we've got to get back to that, and that is protecting the football a little bit better. I think that Dylan Romain really came into his own as a running back as we got down to the home stretch of the season. Uh, Drew Smith is a product that we've got to continue to sand up. He's, he's multi-talented, and we've got to get him on the field in many, many different situations, running, throwing, catching, all of the talents that he brings to the table and uh, then I think we've got to get some kids back from the injured reserve list we had three kids go out with knee surgeries hopefully all of them will be back for the spring and we can see that they come along but I feel good about where we are at running back I feel good about where we are at receiver I think we've got to solidify the tight end core a little bit more and then the offensive line just needs to gel and we've got to get uh, at least five kids but hopefully eight or ten that can block for running game. And uh, if you want to play in December, Brian, you've got to be able to run the football.